Hey there, it's Black Placid. Welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with y'all how I turned this ugly basic mirror that I got for free off Craigslist and turned it to this beautiful, gorgeous floor mirror you see in our living room today. So like I said, I did get this mirror for free off Craigslist and this whole project ended up costing me zero, not even a dime. So yeah, let me go ahead and get into this video. And throughout the video, I'll share with you guys my little tips and tricks and secrets on how you can get you some good furniture for free. So first, as you guys can see, I am starting off by cleaning the mirror down, wiping it down, hosing it down, all that good stuff. So I did spray it down with some awesome spray, and in this rag, I just have some Dawn and some water, and I'm just gonna wipe it down real quick, get the edges real good with that rag, just because it was really dusty and dirty from where we went and picked it up. So like I said, I did get this mirror for free off of Craigslist, and the woman that I actually picked it up from, it's hilarious she said that she gave the other side of the mirror this was actually part of a slider door closet and she gave the other side to her daughter-in-law who decided to do the same thing that I'm doing with this one right now she made a floor mirror out of it so yeah I thought that was super super funny so if you guys didn't know Craigslist as well as offer up and let go has a free stuff section and every few hours throughout the day there are a bunch of stuff posted on there and if you are not on it the stuff will go quick and fast like hotcakes i'm not even kidding so this mirror like i said i did find it for free off craigslist and the lady she was doing um i think her home renovation yeah i actually picked it up from her son-in-law with my fiance and she gave the other one like I said to her daughter-in-law who decided to do the same project with this and she was super sweet super kind you will meet a lot of sweet and kind people throughout doing these type of processes for sure especially in the days and times we live in right now with COVID-19 so yeah you do have to make sure you take your precautions now in the day and age we live in wear your mask wear your gloves of course be polite stay six feet apart <music> So we're just gonna go ahead and paint it black. So before we paint it black, Corey's just gonna go ahead and prop it up and sand it real quick. So like I said, we didn't spend a dime on the project. The sanding paper that we're using, the P120, we already had that at the house. We just had a pack from an original project as well as the can of paint that we're going to be using. It was a really cheap can of paint I got from Walmart for a previous project months ago and it was like $9.96, really cheap. So yeah, that's why we made sure we sanded everything down just so this paint could stick so yeah that is the paint that we use and we did have to use about a couple of coats for it to really stick the first layer Corey went ahead and used like this sponge brush as you see him using on there but the second layer he went ahead and used a different kind of brush on there I'm not really too good on like paint brushes and all that stuff so I can't really give you the information but I think it was just a really cheap old not old but a really cheap one inch paintbrush we got from walmart yeah he's just gonna go ahead and put down the first coat real quick and you guys will see that we'll have to go ahead and put it in the garage because it did start raining after the first coat and he just went ahead and put the second coat on it while it was in the garage and then the next day i went ahead and finished it off by painting in the inside trim pieces that he could not get just because he didn't want to get it really super dirty so I just went ahead and painted that myself the next couple of days so yeah this video was like it took like about two or three maybe four days to film this video you guys will see a lot of different hair changes from me outfit changes just because it was filmed on a course of many days but you'll only see Corey once so yeah he kind of starts it off for me and I finish it off <laughs>
project we completed our first DIY floor mirror project and this mirror was a double vanity bathroom mirror this mirror ended up being a little bit too large for that space so we ended up putting it in our bedroom instead and I do have a few clips here and there from that DIY but that one wasn't free so if you guys want me to share that one I will put it up a couple weeks or so after this one if you would like to see that one as well but yeah as you can see there was just like a couple pieces and borders on the insides that was still gold and I just went ahead and touched that spot up with this sponge brush just because the tip of it is really pointy and precise and you guys will see that I am getting lost and watching 90 Day Fiance as well as Married at First Sight. I was just watching a whole bunch of shows throughout the day. If you have made it this far, then that means you've seen the completion of the project. Definitely don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like this video and if you want me to do more DIY furniture videos like this. And definitely don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well. I am a fairly new channel and your support just means so much to me. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. All right.